Have you ever flipped a coin to make a choice? Ozobot can make random choices, sort of like flipping a coin. Let me show you what I mean. You will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, both pages of the intro to color codes for direction activity sheets, and a pencil. After today's lesson, you will be able to program Ozobot to turn right, left, or go straight at an intersection. Program Ozobot to do a U-turn in the middle of a line or at the end of a line. And recognize the direction the Ozobot is traveling so you can correctly draw a direction color code. When Ozobot comes to an intersection and hasn't been programmed which way to go, it will randomly choose a direction, kind of like flipping a coin, to decide which way to go. Find start one on your activity sheets. Follow the line to the bottom of the page. There are three rectangular blocks, one at each line end. Fill in the first one red because it has an R next to it. The middle line has a G, so fill in that green. And the line on the right has a B, so fill that in blue. Then, connect the start circle with each line end by filling in the guidelines with black marker. Place Ozobot on start and make a tally mark on the line next to the line end where Ozobot stops. Repeat this five more times. Which direction did your Ozobot choose the most? Which did it choose the least? Now, what if you want Ozobot to go a certain direction? There are direction color codes that program your bot to turn left, turn right, or go straight at intersections. The secret to these color codes is choosing the direction to turn based on the direction Ozobot is traveling as it approaches the intersection. You'll program your bot to travel from start two to the birdhouse. Find start two at the bottom of page one. Follow the line to the top of the page and see two rectangles labeled R, so fill them in red. On the third line end, there is a color code. I'll fill in the blocks with green and blue as they are labeled. Near start two, there are three blocks for a color code. Follow the line from start two to the birdhouse and decide if Ozobot needs to go right, left, or straight. Find the color code in the color codes key. Begin closest to the start circle and fill in the code and complete the black lines. Run your bot from start two. Did your bot turn right at the intersection? Ozobot recognizes two U-turn codes. One code is used at the end of a line, and the other is used in the middle of a line. Look at page two of your activity sheets and find start three and start four. The U-turn code you will use in the middle of the lines has three color blocks, blue, red, blue. The U-turn code used at the end of the line has two color blocks, blue, red. First, Fill in the U-turn codes, starting with the top line and the middle line. Both have three blocks because they are in the middle of a line. The last code on the bottom is at the end of the line, so the code has two color blocks. Notice the blue block is on the right of the red block because Ozobot will come to the blue block first. Once the color codes are filled in, complete the lines with black marker. Now find start three and place Ozobot on the line. Watch the action of the bot as it's programmed to perform a U-turn. What did you notice about the path the bot traveled? Next, find start four and place Ozobot on the line. The bot travels a very different pathway from start four. Next, you'll learn about directionality 
When you read in English, you start on the left and you follow the words to the right. The direction you read is important. It is the same with Ozobot reading color codes. The action of the bot depends on the direction the color code is read. In order for your bot to turn the direction you want it to go, it is important that you notice the direction the bot will be traveling when it comes to an intersection. Find Start 5 on page 2 of your activity sheets. Your Ozobot needs to go to the dog, not the snake. Fill in the win exit play again code next to the dog. Then go back to start five and follow the line to be clear about the direction my bot will be traveling. Ozobot will need to turn right to get to the dog, so fill in the right at intersection code. Remember to put the colors in the blocks as your bot would read them while traveling over the codes. Then fill in the dotted lines with black marker. Once the codes and lines are finished, Place the bot on Start 5 and see if it gets to the dog. Can you go to Start 5, fill in the win exit play again code next to the dog, and the right at intersection code, so your bot will turn right. Run your bot and watch it celebrate when it gets to the dog. Go to Start 6, fill in the win exit play again code and the direction code, then fill the dotted lines with black marker. Place your bot on Start 6 and watch it in action. Did your bot get to the trees and celebrate? Well done! You've learned a lot about programming your Ozobot in this lesson. Answer the following questions to be sure you've completed everything. Have you tallied the number of times your bot turned randomly from Start 1? Did your bot arrive at the birdhouse from start two? Did you observe the U-turn loops of your bot when it started from starts three and four? Did you use the direction code to have your bot arrive at the dog and the trees? Looking for more? Create your own Ozobot track using the codes you've learned so far.